If you'd like to see how I took a plain white blank canvas and transformed it into this lovely Z Gallery inspired masterpiece, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video, I am going to be making some canvas art. This is a 16 by 20 canvas, and I'm going to be working with the color cobalt blue and a metallic sterling silver. This is just some 50 cents or 97 cents Walmart paint. And I have these little Dollar Tree brushes that I'm going to be using. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so just getting started, I'm just going to squirt on the gray color first. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my little Dollar Tree brush and just kind of smooth it out. Starting from the middle and then just working my way to the right. Um, nothing major. It's pretty simple for the most part. Um, this is something that looks very beautiful and maybe it looks difficult. But once you knock it out and do a couple of them, you're like, wow, I can do these all day. Well, at least that's how I felt. I just kept having so many different ideas. I actually did three. I can't wait to show you guys the other ones I did. I'll be editing those videos as well. Just try your best to just keep everything looking nice and even. I'm kind of all over the place right here just so I can cover those edges. But make sure your strokes are nice and even so that there's no brush lines. I'm not using the most expensive brushes. These are just some basic Dollar Tree brush brushes. So I did make sure that once I was had everything covered on the edge, I just kind of went smooth. You want everything to look nice and smooth and flat. Okay, same thing here. Go ahead and work in your second color. Make it nice and smooth, even strokes so you don't have all these like brush marks. Put plenty of paint. I think with the gray side, I just kind of was like just putting just a little bit. I think if you start out with plenty of paint and work it in, it's nice and full and you don't have as many brush marks. So just keep working that in. It's coming together nicely. Okay, so just continue to smooth out your paint. I'm really loving how these two colors are looking together. I'm so excited about this project. And again, hit those corners. You don't want to have any of the white canvas showing. This is the liquid glass I'm going to be using. That's called, um, it's like a medium pouring and these are the glitters I'm gonna be using. It's um, a, a better alternative than using resin. And then these are the blue glitters I'm going to be using. Now with the liquid glass, you could purchase this off Amazon. Well, that's where I got mine. But for some reason, I went to go buy another bottle of it and they just didn't sell it anymore for whatever reason. But go heavy on it if you're gonna put big heavy glitter and glass, really it's the glass. Cause that's what's gonna really mold it and make it stick to your canvas. So you want to do the, the crushed glass first. And just a fun fact, if you feel like you're on a budget and you can't afford these things, I told you the paint was 55 cent a bottle, okay? or there's like some dollar bottles. This canvas board is like three in a pack. It's no more than 15 bucks. And then you know when you shop at Michael's they have the little 20% off um, coupons. This crushed glass, I crushed this myself. This was empty Alfredo um, sauce jars. 
I crush this myself. You don't have to do that. You could just go buy some, but I just wanted to see how the difference would be. I had a, I have a video for that as well. So I'm just saying, these DIYs don't have to be expensive. You can make it work around your budget and you can make something very pretty and glamorous for a little bit of nothing. You can do this. Now I'm going in with the fine holographic glitter here. I purchased this from Paper Mart a while ago and it's like a one pound jar. So it, it really lasts. Now I have this, I think this is Recollections. Um, it's like a really pretty deep midnight blue, like a confetti glitter, it's like circles. It's so, so pretty. And I just kind of want that to be on the silver as well as the blue, just kind of mixed in there. I just really like this. This is also by Recollections. Oh, I love this too. This is like another confetti glitter. Now it has like a more holographic colors to it. I like using multiple glitters, fine glitters and chunky glitters. Look at that. You see how it has, it's like an iridescent effect. I really, really love, this is one of my favorite, favorite glitters. So I want this to be as sparkly and chunky and very textured as it possibly can be. been about maybe six or seven hours this has fully dry um, I'm going to take a nice clean brush and scrape this off I have a box um, I thought I had an extra bin but I'm gonna use this box to kind of angle it in hopefully it's big enough if not I'll just have to angle it I'm and make it work shake off this glitter oh there we go that fit okay cool this is perfect so I'm just gonna give it like a nice little gentle tap on the back and you can see what's come off in the box here then I'll just go ahead and take my brush and just knock everything off that didn't stay And this is a close-up of how it looks. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love how you can see it like twinkle. So some people like it maybe 
dark to light. I think most people may want to go for a light to dark look. I like it light to dark. Very, very, very pretty. I'm thinking if I want to, I may or may not, I'm gonna scrape it this way as well to see if I get some fall off this way also. I love this little confetti looking glitter. I love it. The holographic glitter is just so beautiful. Love it. Okay. So, what I'm thinking, I'm thinking I love it the way it is. A part of me wants to go in just a little bit in these little areas and just fill in a little bit, a little more glitter. Not more glass, but just a little more glitter in those areas. But I think it also looks very nice this way as well. But I kind of want to fill in some of those spaces. I don't know, I may leave it. It's really, really pretty. I think I'm going to have to let it sit down and just really step back and look at it. I'm really close up on it now. I'm just going to look at it for a few minutes and okay, make up my so mind. so I've made up my mind. And I just want to fill in these little spaces. I'm just going to use what fell off in this box and just kind of pour it. Can you see that? And pour that back on. So I'm just going to take a little bit of liquid, um, liquid glass. And that's what I'm going to do. We're just gonna go a little bit in here, in here, little space, right here, right there, right there. Okay, and then that'll. That'll be it. Let this sit for a few hours and then that'll be the final. Okay, final, so this final. sat overnight. Um, I added more glitter to the middle because I felt like it was a little too empty and I just wanted more. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off. This is going to be the final outcome. However, it is, is how it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up and get my box that I have my overage in. This is from a different one that I did recently. I'm just gonna carefully angle it into this box. And I'm gonna take this brush and just kind of dust everything off. Just keep brushing everything until nothing is no longer falling off. Hey you guys, this is the final finished result. And I think this looks absolutely amazing. Amazing, do you hear me? This is my second time doing this. The first one I did, I did one for my bathroom. Um, I'll have the video link somewhere, hopefully. It was yellow and gray. Now I'm doing this one as a gift for someone and um, I really hope they like it because I love this. Love, 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 love. When I added the extra glitter and glass, it made me like it even more. The way it came out the first time was cool as well, but I just really like it to be real heavy and have that texture in the middle. I think it's perfect. Like it looks so good, like I can't believe I did it. This is really Z Gallery inspired. If you saw some paintings somewhere and you think that, oh, it's too expensive, I can't afford it. Or if you didn't see anything in a store that you liked and you know that there's certain colors that match your home decor, you better head over to Michael's and get you a canvas board 
and practice or just try it out. You can do this. Trust me. You can do this. So this can be either for you and your home decor or this can be a lovely gift for a bridal shower, for a wedding couple, for a housewarming. I mean, if someone's going off to college and they want to make sure their dorm is like swanky, this would be absolutely amazing. And I just have this on this wall because I just had this little open area here just to put it on, just to show you guys how it looks. The person I'm making it for, I wanted to ask them what their favorite color was because you can ask someone their favorite color and you know, you don't want to give it away. But what if their favorite color is not their home decor colors? So it's kind of tricky, but either way, whoever I'm giving this to, I really feel like they'll like it. I just want them to put it somewhere where they can see it and enjoy it. But there's so many places that they could put this. They could put this in their bathroom. They could put it in their living room. I'm not sure about the kitchen. Maybe they could put it in their kitchen, basement, wherever. I just think this is very, very pretty. It looks expensive. And I don't think I mentioned the size of this. This is a 16 by 20. Thanks you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you did receive some really great inspiration and some cool ideas. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Share it on Facebook if possible. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you don't subscribe, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks again. Bye-bye.